Welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. Here we have another challenge again. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful video, answer video like the one you are about to. If you look at these two equations, they are automatically a simultaneous equation because we are solving for x and y concurrently. All right. Now, if you look at equation one, equation one does not have much problem. Equation two has a little problem, a little challenge. We have to convert equation two to another format before we can solve. So let's take our solution first. So here we have solution. We hold our equation one, which is two to the power of x plus three to the power of y or equal to nine. Who this guy? We have to treat this second equation, which is two to the power of x plus two minus three to the power of y plus one or equal to eight. Dix your equation two, we have to rearrange it. Rearranging it, we have to go to the law of indices that when you have an expression of this kind, it means because according to the law of indices, we say we have a to the power of x times a to the power of y. This is the same thing as a to the power of x plus y because the bases are the same. So you add the power. This expression is the same thing as this. So we want to take it back to this format. Hence, we cannot rewrite the equation 2 as 2 to the power of x dot, which is times 2 to the power of 2 minus 3. Same thing happens to this side of it, which is 3 to the power of y dot 3 to the power of 1 or equal to 8. All right. Now that we've done this, we all know that 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And 3 to the power of 1 is same 3. So we cannot do this as 4 bracket 2 to the power of x. Close the bracket. Minus. Here will give us 3. Bracket 3 to the power of y. We write it very well. 3 to the power of y. Close bracket is equal to it. We can now give this as our equation 3. So we have transformed equation 2 from this format to this format already. So we cannot solve equation 3 and equation 1 simultaneously. All right. So let's bring equation 2, sorry, equation 1 and equation 3 simultaneously. So if we bring equation 1 into the system, this will now give us 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y or equal to 9. This is our equation 1, if you recall. Now, we want to solve this simultaneously and we have to eliminate one of these, either 3 to the power of y or 2 to the power of x. But before we can do that, we have to make the coefficient of either this or this to be the same. So let's eliminate 3 to the power of y. And if we are to eliminate 3 to the power of y, then we have to multiply equation 1 by this coefficient of 3 to the power of y. Okay? Okay. To make the coefficient here to be the same, then we multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of 3 to the power of y. So now say multiply multiply equation 1 by 3. Okay? Like I told you, the essence of doing that is to make the coefficient of 3 to the power of y in equation 1 and equation 3 to be the same. So if we do this, let's proceed from here. So from here, if we do that, this will now give us 3 Let's put down our first equation. We give us here 4 bracket 2 to the power of x close bracket minus 
3 bracket 3 to the power of y close bracket or equal to 8 now look at equation 1 that we want to multiply by 3 so we go to multiply this by 3 this will now give us 3 into 2 to the power of x close bracket minus 3 we're going to this two 3 into 3 to the power of y is equal to we also multiply this by 3 and 3 times 9 will give us 27 so here we have 27 all right now that we have this and this the coefficient of this and this they are now the same the coefficient of 3 to the power of y they are now the same in this case now what we do we add equation one sorry please here is plus we add this first equation to this second equation so now right here add equation three and yeah our equation one together So if we add equation 1 and equation 3 together, because this is our equation 3, this is our equation 1. So if we add that together, let me bring that out so that you don't get confused. This is your equation 3, this is your equation 1. Okay, so if we are to add that together, if you look carefully, this is minus 3 plus 3 dx and this we take care of the cells. Okay, then we come to this other side here. 4 plus 3, this will give us 7 into 2 to the power of x equal to 8 plus 27. That will give us 35. So we have here 35. All right. So we cannot divide true by 7. So we now say divide true by 7. So if you do that, this will now give us 7 to the, into 2x all over 7 equal to 35 all over 7. Okay, so from here, this we go with dx. Alright, 7 here, 1, 7 here, we give us 5. Alright, so automatically, we're going to have here 2 to the power of x equal to four. now that we have this we cannot say we now say put put two to the power of s equal to five into equation to equation one so let's go to our initial equation one look at our equation one so if we do that we write it out which is two to the power of x Plus 3 to the power of y equal to 9. So here we have 2 to the power of x. We replace it with 5. So we have here 5 plus 3 to the power of y equal to 9. So if we make 3 to the power of y the subject of the formula, this will give us 9 minus 5. So let's proceed again. Okay. From here we proceed. From here, dx will now give us 3 to the power of y or equal to this will give us 4. Okay, because 9 minus 5 will give us 4. Now, if we go back to our expression, so the two values we have here, therefore, we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 and 3 to the power of y is equal to 4. So how do we now solve this to get our expression uh, value of y and x? It's just a matter of introducing log. Okay, so from here, we take the first one, which is mean to this. So we have here, introducing log reading. This will give us mean 2 to the power of x equal to mean 5. All right. Then bring this back. According to the law, so this will now give you x, name, 
2 equal to n5 divided, divided by n2, divide this side by n2 also. So if you do this, this and this will leave. So we are now left with x is equal to, this is a division sign, which is, we can go ahead and look for the value of n5 and the x will now give us n5 and n5 give us here 1.609 all over n2 n2 we give us 0 0.693 okay 1 this is 93 so if we divide that will give us 6 zero nine divided by point six nine three so this will now give us here x is equal to two point three two to three to two decimal point two dp okay now from here we also look for that of y so from y we have here 3 to the power of y equal to 4. So we also introduce name 3 to the power of y equal to name 4. Okay, so we proceed again. So from here we proceed again. This will now apply the law of logarithm. Okay, this will come back to give us here y name 3 equal to then 4. If you divide through by 3, this will now give us y name 3 all over name 3 equal to name 4 all over in 3. Okay, this and this will leave. So we now have y is equal to the same time we find the value of name 4. So we have here n4 is equal to we have 1.386 all over okay, in 3 in 3 give us 1.0986 so if we divide down that will give us 1.386 divided by 1.0986 and that will give us 1.262 approximately therefore our x is equal to the value of our x is equal to 2.32 and y is equal to 1.262 okay so if you have any question with regard to the solving drop it in the comment section or if you gain some value from this solving drop it also in the comment section by giving our videos a thumbs up i'll say thanks jigs remember we love you and online mass tv loves you too thanks for being there